16 teams have played, 16 teams return. Now let's find our top five next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Quiz Kids. Yes, we've had 16 amazing teams. They're all returning to play a second round, and we're going to look for our top five teams as we move toward our championship. Today we have two teams back. First we have the Stewart Hall Knights. And let's welcome back the Westmore Rams. Welcome back gentlemen and Clarissa. Let's start with a three for all. I will ask you a five point toss up question. If you give me the correct answer, your team controls the following questions. Good luck to both teams. Here's your first three for all. The first answers are five, six, and seven. If you roll two ordinary dice, you're most likely to roll one. Devin. Seven. Correct. Which numbers are the two least common sums from two ordinary dice? Two and twelve. Correct. And what are the odds of rolling a two, known as snake eyes, on a single roll? One in thirty-six. You got twenty-five points. Congratulations. <laughs> Here are your next toss-up answers. I've got Beethoven, Handel, and Mozart. He composed nine symphonies and the emperor, yes, Nick. Beethoven. Right. Beethoven is one of classical music's three Bs. Name the other B who created some of the most well-known works of the Baroque period. Bach. That is right. And finally, the third B has changed over time. Most people think Brahms, but it was originally held by which French romantic composer? Oh, that's a good question. You can talk to your friends yeah. over there. I have no idea. Uh, Bach, Beethoven, and... <laughs> It was Hector Berlioz. Quick lime, quick sand, quick silver. Which of these is also the archaic name of the 80th element? Yes, Brandon. Quick silver. Correct. Because of the toxicity of mercury, it has largely been replaced in bulb thermometers by what dyed organic substance? You can talk. Iodine. Yeah. Iodine. No, it's alcohol. Liechtenstein, I love saying that. Luxembourg and Monaco. Which of Europe's many countries is ruled by the Grimaldi family? Devin. Luxembourg? No, you can steal. Monaco. 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 That is right. Some of Europe's many countries are completely surrounded by other countries. Which country completely surrounds Monaco? Oh, Monaco. Is it Italy? Yeah. Is it France? I don't know, it's not France. Italy? No, it's France. <laughs> Burma, Israel, and Sri Lanka. Of these countries that became independent in 1948, whose first prime minister was David Ben-Gurion? Dasbal. Israel. Right. Israel. Israel. <laughs> Sound like a bar mitzvah boy. Good for you. In 1973, Egypt and Syria led a coalition that launched a surprise attack on Israel on what Jewish holiday? Yom Kippur? Yes, Yom Kippur. <laughs> During the Yom Kippur War, Israeli forces retained control of what disputed plateau region north of the Sea of Galilee? Uh, no. no. The Israeli plateau. I don't know. Hold on. Just say it. Israeli plateau. No, it was the Golan Heights. Oh, I don't know. Hamlet, Macbeth, or Othello. Will this be madness? There is method in it. Is a line from what play said at Castle Elsinore? Clarissa. Hamlet. Right. It wasn't Hamlet, though, but what other character who spoke that line? I think it's Polonius. No. Say Polonius? It. Right. Oh, okay. Kronberg Castle, the inspiration for the fictional Elsinore, is located across the Orsund from what other Scandinavian country? Sweden. No, Norway. 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 Sweden. Oh. <laughs> Truman, Eisenhower, or Kennedy? The 22nd Amendment made which president the first to be limited to two terms? Das Ball. Truman. No, you can steal. It's Eisenhower. Okay, say it. Eisenhower? That is right. The most recent constitutional amendment ratified in 1992 was first proposed in 1789. What was the subject of that amendment? The most recent, I have no idea. Do you know, gentlemen? States rights. No, it was uh, 
congressional salaries. <laughs> and I think the states would say nice. they have the right to lower our congressmen's congressional salaries, but we'll talk about that later. Treaty of Paris, Treaty of the Rio Grande, Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. American emissary Nicholas Trist signed it in 1848. Which treaty ended the... <laughs> yes, Das Ball. Treaty, treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Correct. It ended the Mexican-American War. Additional territory was transferred from Mexico to the U.S. in what 1853 transaction? 1853 transaction. Do you know? Louisiana Purchase. The Gadsden Purchase. Audubon. Courier or Peterson, 435 life-size aquatint etchings feature in whose 19th century book, Birds of America? Clarissa. Audubon? Right. The town of Audubon, Pennsylvania is a few miles northeast of what site where Washington's troops spent the winter of 1777? Valley Forge. Right. Who was the Prussian drill master who Washington brought in to improve discipline and morale? Von Steuben. Steuben. Uh, Steuben. Von Steuben, that is right for 25 points. And that is the end of the game for this round. We'll be right back. Don't go away. And now it's time to meet the quiz kids. Once again, here's Brad. All right. Let's say hi to the Stuart Hall Knights and Nick Lakito. Nick, um, we're going to talk to your team because a lot of people think that very, very intelligent people are very sedentary, but you actually are, all three of you, massive jocks as well, right? No. Yeah, good. All right, and you play golf. Yeah. Right, well, I want to show that I've learned something because in an earlier game, I kind of embarrassed myself with my lack of knowledge of golf, but now I know what kind of questions to ask a golfer. What's your handicap? Ten. That's really good. No, not really. No, it, it really is good. No, I asked the golfer and he said, that's good. Okay. So congratulations, Thank Nick. You. Devin Harvey. Devin, badminton season just started, so we're not really going to talk about sports, are we? We're going to tell us why badminton should be considered a legitimate sport. Badminton is a lot of like quick movements and a lot of skill is involved. And you have to be don't, dexterous, yeah. right? You people have to have a good People eye. don't get it that it's played competitively as much, but it's actually pretty fun. Well, good luck on your season. Thank you. Charlie O'Connor, you're a wrestler. I am. You just finished your season. How'd you do? Uh, okay. Yeah. I, uh... What's your handicap? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. What's your par? No, I don't know what to ask a wrestler. What do you do? Do you do uh, freestyle? Do you do... Uh... Uh, I do scholastic, which is what all the schools wrestle. So it's all right. A, it's a little safer. Like, you can't, you know, do, like, a full Nelson, or, you know, things like that. They try and keep it from uh, injuring, you know, Very each good. Other, so. Well, stay safe with that. Gentlemen, I'm going to give you a chance to take the lead. You're 20 points behind. Westmore, uh, if you look at the little board over there, you'll see three categories. I'd like you to pick one. I have seven questions in each category, each worth 10 points. If you give me all seven answers correctly, I will give you 30 extra points. Today's categories are Irish eyes, four letter words, and pop quiz. Let's do pop. Pop. Pop quiz. Well, as you can see, it's spelled differently, and there's always a reason for that. The uh, answers all contain a double P. A double P. Nice. Okay? Okay, nice. He played Jack Sparrow. Oh, Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. That's 10 points. He's known as the father of medicine. You could talk these things over. Who's, who's double letters in Yeah, who's, who's the father of it? Um, I don't know. Who's the and your answer? Uh, don't have one. <laughs> no one. Hippocrates. Oh. In economics, it's balanced by demand. Supply? Right. It's the eastern mountain range that includes the Smokies and the Alleghenies. Appalachian. You're right. This typically blue gemstone is formed from an aluminum oxide and is the traditional birthstone for September. Sapphire. That is correct. Sapphire. He became the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus. Don't know. Uh, 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 two P's. Mm -hmm. Your answer? Philippides? It was Agrippa. Oh, okay. And finally, it's California state flower. Uh, oh, the poppy. poppy. That's right, you got 50 points for a score of 90. Congratulations! <laughs> Let's say hi to Westmore. Brandon Wynn and the Speech and Debate Club. Yeah. Um, it's dying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we haven't met since last semester. Okay, why not? 
Um, our coach has been busy coaching other athletics and our president has been off doing other academic endeavors. Okay, well, if we had time, I would let you give a big plea, but everybody, join Speech and Debate Club. It's a good thing, right? Okay. Clarissa Chan, you're with the orchestra. What do you play? I play the cello. And you're going on a trip this summer with the orchestra. Yeah, we're going to Germany and the Czech Republic. That's very exciting. How many different places will you play at? I think about, I think two. We're playing Dvorak in the Czech Republic. So that's very cool. nice. Kind of honoring your host. Your host. Well, good luck to you. That will be a wonderful trip. Dospal Ibeck. It's always nice when someone wants to sh share a book that they really have enjoyed in reading in class. Yes. And what are you reading now? Night by Eli, Elie Wiesel. Elie Wiesel, that's right. And why do you like that book so much? Well, it's for our English class, our English English class. And um, well, when I heard about it, I thought it was going to be interesting because I, like, I enjoy world history. Mm -hmm. And then when we got into it, it was actually really sad. It is. It puts a real human face yeah, it's on. Like, it's a really enlightening book. Good. Like, well, good. I'm glad you enjoy yeah. it. It's a great book. Yes. All right, you guys, let's get your lead back. Just pick one of the categories. Irish eyes or four-letter words? Four-letter four words. words. These are words that we can't say on television. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. You know, wouldn't that be exciting? People would turn in in droves. These are words that have four letters. Break your leg, and you might be wearing one of these. Cast. 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 Right. It's an ancient region in Western Europe consisting of what is now mainly France and Belgium. Hmm. Your answer? The West. No, Gaul. It's a structure used in cremations. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. No, no, no. It's a. Uh, Your answer? <laughs> no. Pyre. A pyre, a funeral pyre. It's a keyless piccolo, often paired with drums. Bass. Bass. We do fife and drums. Fife. According to the proverb, it's always darkest before this. Dawn. 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 That's right, dawn. In computing, it could be quick, bubble, or merge. Answer? No answer. These are different ways to sort. Sort. And finally, it's the gemstone that's a deep red variety of corundum. Ruby. You got it, and you've got 30, so we've got a tie score, 90 to 90. I like that. We'll be right back with the next round. Don't go away. And now we're back with the second half of Quiz Kids. Take it away, Brad. Welcome back. Let's give a big hand to the coaches for both of these teams who work so hard with these players. First from Westmore, Mr. Alan Bronstein. And from Stewart Hall, Mr. Shannon Hawkyard. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, folks, we're back to the three for all. We'll raise the point values. The toss-ups will be worth 10. Subsequent questions will be worth 25 and 50 points. So you can take a big lead here. Jules Verne, Alexandre Dumas, and Victor Hugo. What French author created the characters Passepartout and Phileas Fogg? Clarissa. Um, Verne. Yes, in Around the World in 80 Days. At the end of that story, Fogg thinks he lost his bet, but then remembers that he forgot to factor in what geographical feature? International dateline. That's right. <laughs> yes. Until 1867, what North American territory was located on the western side of the dateline? Dateline, so that's uh, Alaska. Is Alaska. Yeah, Alaska. Alaska? That's right, 50 <laughs> points. Okay. Yes! I love your certainty. All right. Calf, Colt, Cub. What nickname used to be given to a junior newspaper reporter? Devin. Colt? No, you can steal. Calf, Cub. 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 Yes, a Cub reporter, like oh. Jimmy Olsen. Cub reporters might be sent to cover home games of the Chicago Cubs, played in what legendary Wrigley ballpark? Field. Wrigley Field. Right. 
In 1988, Wrigley Field became the last major league ballpark to install what common feature essential to primetime baseball telecasts? Hmm. The last major ballpark to install these. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. A light. Oh, I didn't say that. So you could see. Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> Lost horizon, absolute horizon, or event horizon. What do physicists call the point of no return from a Brandon? Event horizon? Yes. What largest type of black hole is thought to be at the center of most galaxies? Black hole, black hole. I don't know. Your answer? No answer. It's a supermassive black hole. The Azov Sea, the Caspian Sea, or the Black Sea. Some geographers call it the largest lake in the world. What's, yes, Das Ball. Caspian Sea. Right. Which longest European river flows into the Caspian Sea? The Volga. I think so. Okay. Volga. Correct. A 60 mile long canal between the Volga and which other river lets ocean going ships access the Caspian Sea via the Black Sea and the Sea of Azov? Mm, let's see. Uh, which river? The Dnieper. Say, you can defer. Defer. The Dnieper. It's the Don River. The Australian Open, the French Open, or the U.S. Open. Of these grand slams of professional tennis in a calendar year, which occurs first? Nick. Australian Open. Correct. Which occurs last? Uh, U.S. Open. Right. The U.S. Open is held in the New York Tennis Center named for which founder of the Women's Tennis Association? Oh, was that woman that played tennis really well? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> don't know? Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Williamson? I don't know. Billie Jean King. Protons, electrons, neutrons, beta particles are high-speed, high-energy forms of which atomic particles? Clarissa. Electron. Correct. An alpha particle is identical to the nucleus of what light atom? Hydrogen. No, helium. Helium. Correct. <laughs> of the three basic atomic particles, neutrons were elusive until which Nobel Prize winner detected them in the 1930s? It's on Higgs, so it's Rutherford. Say it. answer? Rutherford. It was James Chadwick. Lou Gehrig, Ted Williams, or Joe DiMaggio. He set a major league record with his 56 games hitting streak in 1941. Charlie. Joe DiMaggio. Right. Which other Joe was a Connecticut senator who became an independent following a 2006 primary loss to Ned Lamont? Yeah. It's not Joe Biden. It's Joe Biden. Joe Biden. No, Joe Lieberman. Cortez, DeSoto, and Pizarro. Which conquistador's arrival was interpreted by the locals as the return of Quetzal? Yes, Devin. Cortez. Right. Who was the Aztec leader deposed by Cortez? Montezuma. Correct. Today we call it Mexico City. What did the Aztecs call their capital? Tenochtitlan. You got 50 points. Congratulations. <laughs> Croatia, Montenegro, and Serbia. The most populous of the former Yugoslav republics, Devon. Serbia. Right. What city, besieged from 1992 to 1996, is the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina? Sarajevo. Right. What former Yugoslav republics are part of a peninsula that takes its name from what mountain range? I'm sorry, most former republics take their name from what mountain range? The Balkans. You got 50 points again. <laughs> that is the end of the round. They are tied again. Exciting news. We'll be right back. For those of you following our grid, we're going to be adding up the scores of the two games that all 16 teams have played, and the top five scoring teams will advance into our semifinals. So maybe one of you will be advancing. Good luck to both teams. Here we go. According to Bloomberg News, new Russian citizen Gerard Depardieu will be appearing in a made-for-TV movie playing what Russian mystic? Das Ball. Rasputin. That's correct. General Lucius Clay headed this operation. Name this 1940s response to the Soviet blockade of a German city. Nick. The Berlin blockade. Um, no, that's incorrect. You can steal. Berlin airlift. Berlin airlift. That is right. The first two moons of Saturn were discovered in 1787 by which astronomer who also discovered the planet Uranus? 
I'm sorry, Brandon. It was William Herschel. Guy Fox met his co-conspirator Robert Catesby while fighting for Spain during the 80 Years' War against which rebellious nation? Devin. France. No, you can steal. Oh. Portugal. 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 The Netherlands. Which granddaddy of the artificial sweeteners has a name that can also describe an overly sentimental love story? Das Ball. Mm -hmm. Splenda. No. Splenda, no. You can steal. <laughs> yeah. Artificial sweetener? No. Something like... It's saccharin. Hope, Arkansas, is the hometown of two recent Arkansas governors, former President Bill Clinton and what Republican presidential... Das Ball. Mike Huckabee. Correct. The United Arab Emirates separates the Musandam River Peninsula from the rest of which nation whose capital is Muscat? Das, das Ball. Oman. Right. It ended with the Thermidorian reaction. In what period did the Committee of Public Safety send thousands to the guillotine? Yes, De Devin. The Great Fear. No, thousands to the guillotine. Rain of Terror. 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 Right. Which original Daily Deal site that hires comedians as copywriters turned down a buyout deal from Google? Brandon. The Onion? No, you can steal. Daily Deal? Okay. Amazon? Amazon? Groupon. Today there are many sugar substitutes on the market, like saccharin. What is the name of the sugar alcohol sweetener used in sugar-free gum and mints? Xylitol. Which subset of the irrational numbers contains the numbers that are not the root of any polynomial with rational coefficients? Devin. Complex numbers? No. The examples include E and pi. What are they called? I don't know. It is transcendental numbers. Its peace memorial includes the Genbaku Dome. What city in western Honshu was the site of the first use of an atomic bomb? Nick. Hiroshima. Right. Its cathedral saw the 1488 Pazzi conspiracy. What city on the river Arno was ruled during the Renaissance? Das Ball. Florence. Right. Italy's Po River flows into it. Which arm of the Mediterranean Sea lies between Croatia and Italy? Devin. The Adriatic Sea. Correct. The term lunatic originated with the idea that blame what heavenly body for crazy... Brandon. The moon. Right. That is the end of the game with 435 to 285. What's more wins? Thank you, Stuart Hall, for being with us. Westmore, maybe we'll see you in a future match. Good luck, and we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.